I am in Baltimore, Maryland today. Actually, the wife and I stayed at a hotel out in the suburbs. So this dreary morning, I got into the Bronco and uh, I am heading into the city. Well, I'm in the city right now. I'm driving into and through downtown over to Federal Hill. From what I understand, uh, you get a real good view of downtown from there. So that's where I'm going first. Never been to Baltimore. Heard lots about it. And I'm excited to be here. First off, I'm going to go to Federal Hill and check out the downtown. Then I'm going to go into downtown and kind of explore there a little bit and see what's all down there. Then, the elephant in the room. What's it like outside downtown? Is the area outside of downtown as bad as everybody says? Well, I'm going to find out. I'm going to drive down North Street to uh, Pennsylvania. And just kind of radiate out of there. See what it looks like. You read about it in newspapers. The uh, message boards on the internet. Baltimore. Murder City. The most violent city in America. Uh, the worst slums in America. The most violent crime in America. One of the worst cities in the U.S. You hear that all the time. Is it really that bad? Well, we're going to find out today. So stay with me and uh, we'll find out together. I'm on Federal Hill. It's one of the best parts of town. Gives, a, uh, gives you a really good view of the skyline. Um, a lot of things there for Baltimore to be proud of. The uh, national anthem was written here. And during the Great Migration, Baltimore admitted the second most immigrants in the country after New York. The downtown is gorgeous. I'm going to go explore a little bit of it. I'm actually going to try to go right there at the bottom of that uh, Baltimore World Trade Center. But anyway, uh, before I go down there, how about a drone shot? Well, I'm on Baltimore Street right now. The inner part of downtown Baltimore, let's say. It's real nice here. I think I am in an adult section of the city. Videos lingerie. Tobacco, Club Chez Joey, it looks like a burlesque place across the street here. And there is a Hustler Club right up here. Downtown Club. This place looks like uh, it's a lot of fun at night. Club Pussycat, oh boy. Hmm. Indulge. Yeah, look at it. Huh. I'm gonna guess that there's lots of fun to be had on this street as I try to talk over 
this ambulance. Right. Taking a closer look at this Hustler Club. It's a beautiful building. And, oh boy. I wonder uh, if I can get the wife to wear one of these. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I'll say this about Baltimore. Seems like they like to have fun. And look at these birds. It's kind of staying in front of me. I'm going to head to the harbor, which is this direction. Uh, it's a little bit rough here. Looks like it caught on fire or somebody tried to light it on fire. It didn't take. I'm not going to speculate as to when or why that happened. Could probably guess though. This bird is just taking it easy here at the Baltimore Harbor. And why not? It's really beautiful here. I totally dig it. I'm standing at the foot of the Baltimore World Trade Center, the tallest five uh, sided building in the world. I'm excited. I've uh, seen this building a million times in pictures. And um, yeah, how cool. I'm standing here right at the foot of it. Looking out over the harbor. Really nice here. Really nice here. Giving you a look at what I'm seeing. Well, from this spot, I could go swimming in the harbor. I could just jump right off, huh? If I was brave enough to do that, which I'm not. Plus, it's about 50 degrees out here. There's the five-sided building again. Do a slow pan around. Get you a nice look. And I am sitting, or walking, past a, looks like an 1800s era sailing ship. I'm gonna try to find some more about it. So it's the USS Constellation, flagship of the anti-slave trade, built in the mid 1800s. And, uh, well, that's beautiful, huh? Quite a view from where I'm standing at the moment. show you what uh, the city looks like right here. If this building was a person, it would be Marilyn Monroe. It's gorgeous. Might be the most beautiful building in this city. Okay, well I've wandered around downtown for a couple hours. I've shown you the highlights, some of the highlights anyway. But anyway, I'm gonna head back to the Bronco and I'm gonna to go to the other part of town, the part that gets all the bad press. So I'm gonna to head to North Street, drive down towards Pennsylvania, and just kind of explore the area, and I'm gonna see for myself, is it as bad as everybody says? Now I'm driving down Notorious North Street, heading towards uh, Pennsylvania.
driving down Pennsylvania now.
Back on North Street. It's something to see, isn't it? Yeah, I drove by this building earlier and I'm trying to understand how the city lets a magnificent building like that fall into this kind of disrepair. I don't know what it is. I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know. But that at one time was a beautiful building. It's still beautiful, it just needs some TLC. I don't get it. it really doesn't matter where you go. Just everywhere you drive, the city is run down. There's a handful of... Uh, and bad roads. There's a handful of nice uh, places, but uh, I've been driving around for a couple hours now and it just mostly looks like this. All right, so what's the answer to the question? Is it as bad as everyone says? Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, uh, pretty much in every direction, radiating out of downtown, it's bad. Now there are pockets of nice streets and uh, you know a block or two where it's real nice but the majority of the city outside the city center is just run down and really bad looking. And it is the biggest one, I guess you would call it a slum, the most and biggest I've ever seen. You know and I've been to St. Louis, New Orleans, Memphis, have not been to Detroit though. That one may be even bigger. I'm going to find out for myself in a couple of months. But it is bad here. Outside the city, in the suburbs, it's beautiful. It looks great. That's where our hotel is. It looks as nice as any suburb that we've been to. But, you know, I'm not going to film that because nice as they are, suburbs are, are boring. But uh, anyway... Yeah, you know, it just it's kind of depressing seeing this and you hate to see people living like this. Anyway, uh going to head back to the hotel and uh in the morning the wife and I will be heading to uh New York City. So I'll be looking for that video.